Sundance. Sundance, I'm already a radio personnel and a street DJ. I need to know how to blog on my own website. That's what's up. You guys already have questions. All right, I'll tell you what. We have about two more minutes before we're going to get going here. Uh, let me see. I'm going to share something on my screen, and I want you guys to tell me uh, if you can see my screen right now. Can you see the screen? Let's, can you guys see my screen? Let's see. Yes, you can see the screen. You can see um, the picture of Ebony and the Steel U logo. You can see it. All right. That's what's up. All right. So let's see. Well, before we get started, I want you guys to know this is going to be a very interact interactive um, training we have going on tonight. So uh, before we get started, I'm going to take a question just to get some things started out. And also tell whoever's on the tweet and tell everybody else to join. They on this is popping. There you go. All right. So now, now that we're cracking. We want everybody to do a couple different things. Number one, again, I already said this is going to be very interactive. So go ahead and take out your phones right now. Take a picture of the screen. And I want you to tweet that. I want you to put that on Instagram. I want you to use the hashtag still you. Go ahead. Take a picture of the screen right now and tell everybody else uh, that they need to go to joinwebinar.com. And I'm going to type in this code right now. They can they can join from social media. So give me just a second. I'm going to type in this nine digit code. And if you share this with the world, we'll be greatly appreciative of it. Let's see. It's uh, www.joinwebinar.com. And here's the code for this training tonight. One zero nine three five six four six seven. So I'm going to share this with you guys. Let's see. Join webinar. All right. Now, if you guys see that, I just typed it into the chat window. Everybody should see it. Wow. We still have people coming on. So the time is 835. Evan, you want to give them another minute or two? No, let's go. You ready to roll? Yeah. All right. Ladies and gentlemen, now I just want to make sure again, make sure you're hashtagging, make sure you're tweeting, make sure you're Instagramming um, because we want this to be interactive. Number one, again, I already said this is going to be very interactive. So um, all right. So. I tell you what, we're going to go ahead and get this thing started, all right? Now, if you guys are ready, let me hear a, um, just go ahead and type yes if you're ready. You can't, so there is no interactive chat tonight, Nikita. There is no interactive chat. I can see all you guys chatting. There There are a ton of you guys there. Um, okay, this is so unprofessional. Everybody's <laughs> phone is ringing. Could y'all please turn your phones off? I know, my bad. I know better than to do this. I know Jesus. better. I've been doing this for years, and I'm doing this. Rookie mistake. All right. Anyway. Um, all right. So first of all, uh, I want to welcome everybody out. Hey, hey, Tiara. <laughs> I want to welcome everybody out to Steel University. Again, this is this is very laid back, very relaxed, very chill. You're in the comfort of your own home. And so are we. Well, Eb is. I'm just over helping out, you know, doing what I can. But anyway, we want to welcome you guys to Steel University. Again, I want you to share that. Join webinar dot com. Uh, the code to get on is one zero nine three six five. Four six seven. Let's see, Nancy Ellis is present. <laughs> Natalie Brown says she's present. All right, so so what are we here for tonight, guys? Um, first of all, we're going to interact. I already said that. Um, it is hashtag still you on Instagram. Uh, and if you guys, I'm sure you're already following Ebony still on Instagram. So um, I'm going to be following Ebony and following that hashtag. Um, also, go ahead and follow me. It's AJ Joiner on Instagram. I'm going to be taking live questions. So follow me, use that hashtag, and I'm going to be monitoring uh, Instagram tonight, taking the questions live, all right? All right. So what are we going to be talking about tonight? Uh, number one, uh, Ebony has been working on this um, for a very long time. She's put her heart and soul into it. Um, so Ebony still has put together a four-week training, right? So this training is going to talk about blogging. It's going to talk about radio. It's going to talk about entertainment journalism. So if you're interested in one or either of those, um, this is definitely the webinar that you want to be a part of. This is the first ever, and this is nationwide, all right? Um, so what do I want from you guys? I've already told you a couple different things. Number one, um, I have 45 to 60 minutes on there, but we may go a little bit over because, again, we waited seven minutes to get started, and we're going to be taking questions live. So that may stretch our time out a little bit, but we hope you guys are patient with us. And then at the end, she has an extremely special offer that she's put together to give you guys a chance uh, to take your careers to the next level, all right? Okay, so let's see what we got next here. Yeah. All right, so without further ado, uh, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to bring on the lady of the hour. 
uh, put your virtual hands together. Say, hey, say, um, you're, if you're a Delta, do your little Delta chant, whatever. Just we're going to welcome Ebony to the microphone right now, and I'm going to get out of your way. Ebony? Yes. Hey, I'll do my own sound effects, and the crowd goes wild. Yeah. So glad you guys could join us this evening for Steel University. And I'm the type of person that's uh, I like to get the point across, give information. One of the things I've always loved to do is share my experiences. So AJ says we may go a little long, but we may go a little, a little short. Who knows? But I definitely want to answer all the questions that you have. So the first question he asks is, who is Ebony Steele? Some people may know me from different variations. Sometimes I look at myself in the mirror and ask myself that same question. But uh, of course, they're having a radio and, and TV background. It didn't just start there. There's a, a long story that comes along with that. But um, I'm a person that loves to love. I love to laugh. Uh, I emote hard and I try to keep it 100, which is sometimes very, very tough. But in this, one of the things that I've found to do very easily, um, y'all remember like when we go to PE, right? And you'd be like, oh, I hope we do volleyball today or I hope we do soccer. Or, I hope we do track today. I think radio and TV is, for me, one of those things that I'm always like, yeah, I always felt like it was easy for me. I felt uh, I felt great doing it and I felt that I could share a lot. So um, they say that if you find something you love and you take any amount of money for it, that's what you should do. Well, I guess I wouldn't take any amount of money for it, but I guess <laughs> right now, if you're doing it for free, you're just doing it. But it's still my deepest love, radio, TV, um, and you can't do one without the other. You can't do radio without TV. You can't do TV without radio. You can't do any of that without blogging. And so that's why I wanted to put Steel You together to be able to share um, what I've learned and maybe give you a jump start on something you can do in moving along in this career. What I'm supposed to say next. <laughs> um, so I guess you just share about what you've done. Oh, I'm supposed to talk about. Okay, well, uh, Radio One, of course, I worked for them for a while. Dish Nation is one of the things I think that helped to really, um, I guess, round out my career. Uh, they call radio theater of the mind because you're painting a picture by people just hearing your voice. But the fact that, you know, Dish Nation allow, allowed me to be on TV along with CNN, some of the voiceover work I did even with HLN Sci-Fi, it kind of goes on and on when you're able to or kind of put your face with the with the voice and that works for you too. I think it makes it, uh, you know, that much more interesting. So all of those experiences, when you ask who is Ebony Steele, um, that's what I can think of and that's what's on that particular so slide. But there's so much more when you think about my spirituality, my family, my friends that are have just been just uh, priceless in, in my growth. So all of that makes me who I am today. Enough about me. <laughs> all right, let's keep it moving. All right. Um, if I have to tell my story, um, there's it's multifaceted. Um, when I say I was a geek and a debutante, I was the kid that I think always made good grades, but at the same time, my mom and dad kind of forced me to do pageants and, and you know, kind of walk on the other side of the mountain. But I thank them for it so much because I think that's what helped me to uh, become not just a well-rounded person to say I'm so great, but to be able to empathize and other, understand news and journalism and other people's situation because I've, I've come in contact with that. But the one thing that was, um, I think, always um, – you know, consistent throughout me being a kid was the fact that I always had a sense of humor. Anything that had to do with me getting in trouble, having a whooping. I remember I was getting a whooping and got another whooping because while my mama was whooping me, I grabbed the end of the belt and I wouldn't let go of it. You know, so it's always something um, that, that had to do with that. And on both sides of my family, when you grow up, hey, you have to both of my grandmothers, women, the females, you have to take piano. And my grandmother would always give the piano to Hey, the most the, the child that she thought was going to be gifted. Now, she probably regretted now she and her grave, bless her soul. But musically, I was, you know, fair balance with that. Comedically, I made great, great, great grades. I had a great family background. You know, sometimes people can tell a story and there's, you know, certain things that happen. And of course, if you ever hear my breast cancer story, a lot of that happened to me later in life. So um, maybe I grew up somewhat of like a Huxtable type family, but I can definitely say my grandmother uh, my dad's mother, I was definitely inspired by her. And let me tell you how fly she was. Her name is Flora McGee, and you can Google her. She actually was one of the, well, the first black woman in Birmingham, Alabama, to have a modeling and charm school. As a matter of fact, the black women in the city at that time could not be tellers at a bank unless they went through her two-week course. 
So she already set something or a precedent I saw or uh, it, there was something about discipline and an order to things that helped me to respect um, this type of business. But um, I went on forward and I knew I wanted to go to college. That wasn't an option because I was decent in math and science. I majored in mechanical engineering. Go figure. Because I wasn't going to work no way. I was just supposed to marry somebody rich and, and keep it moving. That was just going to be for fun. But lo and behold, I'm sitting here doing a free webinar. So y'all know that didn't work out. <laughs> but I ended up also running for Miss Tuskegee, which I loved. Um, being able to represent an institution like that um, and, and not so much you learn so much about the institution, but you learn about yourself. And I will honestly say that my introduction to radio and TV, sometimes it comes in a form and a fashion that you have no idea about. But it was the fact I had to sit my butt there and write those speeches to campaign, almost like on a political front, to become Miss Tuskegee, to make it make sense, to have a heart about something, to be believable and really express myself. And I know that that's what has helped me in my growth in this in uh, in this industry. And you know, um, this, you know, my heart flutters a little bit. And I will say, and just being one thing, I, one thing I always try to be is totally transparent. There was an introduction after that time that changed a lot of my life and made me the person or give, gave me the introduction to who I am today. And that was a gentleman that gave me my start in radio. And without that intro introduction, I don't know where I would be. But I know that I may not have gotten the opportunities that I've had. I may not have the learned spirit that I have, the openness to learn. And, oh, I'm not emotional right now, am I? But, you know, also the heart to forgive and move on and understand that your talent is what God has given you. And people give you an opportunity. They're still human. And you don't hold that against them. And you keep it moving. Change the slide. <laughs> Whew, okay. That was a lot. That was a lot. I know. We good? Do we have any questions right now? Can people ask questions yes, they now? Can. Um, or do we have to wait? All right, guys. Time? So I'll tell you what. I'm going to take a question. You, you want to take how many? I want to do two, however you want it. Let's just, okay, yeah. let's just run it. All right, guys. So if you have a question right now, go ahead and click the raise your hand button. And I'm going to go ahead and start taking some questions. So uh, who do we have first? So Kimberly Knowles. Uh, Kimberly, so when I open up the mic, tell us where you're calling from uh, and tell us, um, what, ask us your question. All right, Kimberly, can you hear us? You're live. Kimberly knows. Are you there? All right. Tina, Tina knows. Okay. Um, I'm moving on. Adrian Hunt. Adrian, are you there? I see you have your hand up. What is your question, Adrian? Yes. Can you guys hear me? Yeah. Yes, we can. Hi. Um, well, I actually started a podcast um, back in December of 2013. Um, and it's doing pretty good. I'm just, um, and, and I actually have it on blogtalkradio.com. So I'm just really trying to see, um, Ebony, what can I do to further, um, further my podcast to where it can be, um, you know, nationally known, internationally known, get on XM radio, things of that nature. I'm just trying to kind of move forward into that direction. And you know what, Adrian, I'm so glad that you actually asked that question and have taken the time just to invest in yourself to ask those type of questions. I'm a firm believer in, hey, I know what I know and I know it well. And that's mm -hmm. why I put together this wonderful cast of eight people that are um, perfectionists and a professional in what they do. And so I would love for you to hang on for us to be able to talk more and for us to give you information. Okay. I've never been, a, you know, I have a website, I write, and I have people that put it together for me. But you know, my thing is radio, TV, but I understand how important blogging is. So I definitely right. want to give you more information about the entire four week course so you can not only tie in blogging, but this whole industry together. Is that cool, Adrian? That's great. That's great. I appreciate it. Thank you, Pumpkin. Hold on. All right, thank you, Adrian. We're gonna take one more. Yeah, let's do one more. All right, so Tracy Jones, Tracy, if Tracy, are you there? I unmuted your microphone. It looks like you have muted yourself, so I'm gonna take a. I'm gonna go back to Kimberly. I'm not fooling with Kimberly you no ain't more. With Kimberly? She, no, not if she don't say she, nothing this time. Kimberly. Kimberly. All right, we'll keep it moving. All right, guys. So, so again, if you have a question, raise your hand. Um, and I will ask you questions, but you have to be ready. All right. We have about a five second window for you to say something. If you don't say nothing. We move it. OK. All right. So when we talk about this class and let me tell you what I had in mind. Originally, I was like, I want to do something like this. I want it to be at a hotel. I fly in certain people. You know how it goes when you go to a hotel ballroom and you do one of those kind of classes. Concept. Great. Me and AJ teamed up, of course, with Todd one. And we decided to 
um, decide what this class is perfect for. And a lot of times in this day and age, and especially with social media, the internet, a lot of times we don't have time. I know I don't even be having gas money. I'll be planning out my routes every day now, trying to get to and from, so I don't have to waste gas. So this is for you. If you're willing to invest in yourself and your knowledge, you got to have that knowledge is power. Also, be ready to do the work, even when it becomes challenging. That's one of the toughest things about being this in this industry, is that you have to have that face. There are times that a boyfriend and broke my heart, but I had 30 seconds to pull it together before I talked on the radio because it's not me to bring that to you or you may you can't go to be on TV with your eyes puppy. So all of that becomes challenging. And that's when you have to keep all that uh, uh, really together. Keep it tough. And even at this position that I am in my career and in my life, just understand that failure is not an option. Um, when you have your mindset and you know what you're going to do, you 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 figure out a way to reinvent yourself. Ebony, OK, you did radio, you did TV. Let's keep doing that. But let's also what, the best thing you can do when you know how to do something well. I promise you there's a scoreboard in heaven. I'm convinced where the Lord looks down and see what have you have done to help other people. And if you've had a talent and you kept it to yourself and not help and uplifted other people, then shame on you. This course ain't for you. I don't want you to sign up. <laughs> <laughs> what we got next? Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. All right. All right. And this class is per is not for you if you just want to keep ideas in your head. They said some of the best ideas are in people's head in the grave. And that's such a shame. I can think about meetings I've had with friends. We've had ideas. How are we going to make money? We write them down in notebooks. So you say you want to be on TV and be on radio, but then you decide to do this instead of that. So keeping the ideas in your head and not moving, this isn't for you. Also, it's not for you if you're not willing to do your best. I think that's one of the four mantras that I live by. Everybody, I mean, look at the Olympics. Look at all the competition out there. Somebody's always going to be number one, but everybody has a lane for number two, number three, whatever it is. Whatever your best is, there is a place for you. And also, not being just just not being complacent. I have to admit, there's time, there are times that I have found myself being very, very complacent. And by the end of the year, if I look at my bank statement or if I look just what have I, I've accomplished, what I volunteered, I realized I haven't really done my best. And one of those, all of those things connect one to the other. So I want to share that and, and help you to apply that to your everyday life, especially if you are interested in being in radio, TV, or blogging. All right, guys. And, and again, we still want you guys to continue taking pictures, continue tweeting, uh, use the hashtag still you and put, um, put your questions online because I'm looking for your questions there as well. All right. Uh, you want to take a question after that? So you know, I, I love talk. No, I yeah, love to talk to, to the yeah, talk, talk to, to the, the people. Pros. Okay, let's talk to the people. All right, so we're gonna do this again. I'm gonna don't you go. If, I'm not. No, I'm not doing Kimberly or Adrian. We're gonna try Dominique. Let's see. I love the name Dominique. You always got a good friend like Dominique. She will pick you up in the airport. <laughs> She'll bring you gas. Right. All right. So Dominique Green, I am going to unmute you. So we're gonna see. All right, Dominique, can you hear us? You there, Dom? Mm -mm. Nope, we're going to keep it moving. All right, well, let me take a question out of here. Okay. All right, so this is from Brian Jones. Brian asks, how or when can you break into the TV industry, and that includes broadcasting, news, entertainment, etc.? cetera? Um, he's been researching several stations, and he's been unsuccessful breaking to the industry. So he's saying, how can he break in, or when is a good time to break in? Right. Um, unfortunately, unfortunately, like, I almost think of this two or three different ways. Like if you're breaking into the industry, that's one thing. If you're looking for a job, that's another thing. If you're looking for a career, that's an entirely different thing. If you're looking to break into the industry with a means of being able to write there in the beginning, be able to make money for yourself, then I don't know many stories of many people that have done that. They've either started as an intern. They actually uh, act. Why you turn your head? You smell my coffee breath? No. Nah. Oh, okay. AJ, AJ turned his head while I was talking. I to check my phone. Oh, okay. I was just wondering why you had turned your head. I put Irish cream in there. I know my breath smells good. If anything, you smell hazelnut. But anyway, um, a lot of times you just have to be selfless and be willing to do it for free or be willing to do it um, at a sacrifice. You may work eight to five and you may have to work an overnight shift and do it for free. As a matter of fact, I have a couple of people in here right now. Shout out to Katie. Um, shout out to Chica. Shout out to my girl Shanika, of course, Todd One. And there are many times that you do things um, um, for free. Not that it's impossible, but you just have to be very selfless in breaking into the industry. That's one thing I know for sure. Um, one more question. Oh, Dominique here. said, why can't we hear her? Is it us? No, it's not because um, this shows us. All right, Dominique, we're going to try you again then. 
All right, let me see here. You there, Dominique? You there, Dominique? Yeah, can y'all hear me? We can now. Turn your thing down, girl. Okay. <laughs> I hear myself like eight times. <laughs> okay. Can What's you your question? Cool? Where you from? Um, Atlanta, but I live in Albany, Georgia now. I get it. I understand. It didn't work out with them. Uh-uh. Just go back and forth, girl. The drive ain't that bad. Go ahead. What's your question? Yeah, I'm moving back to Atlanta. What I understand. I already know the story. Um, my question... <laughs> What's your question, My love? question is, I'm 29, and all of my background is in education. I have my master's in education. Can you hear me? Uh -huh. um, yeah. But I've always had a deep interest in radio and mass communications. I'm starting my career path over, and I wanted to go into journalism. Okay. I wanted to know, did you have any tips for me to brand myself as a novice in this industry? So you're saying you're a novice, but you don't want to become a novice anymore. Right. Okay. Um, I would say at this age, when I say age or stage in the game, because I'm a mechanical engineering major. That's what I did. I went to college. Like I didn't do, I don't, people think I have a journalistic degree uh, uh, and I don't. So if I were to discourage you, I think I would be wrong. But one thing that I know that has been impossible for me to move forward in this career is not having mentors. So at this stage, I would continue to be an ed educator like you do. I think that's awesome. And I commend you for that because it's so tough in this day and age. But at the same time, find someone that you can attach yourself to that works in the industry already that you may have synergy with. And uh, instead of from starting from someone that's 18 or 19, since you're 29, can kind of pick up from there and see what direction you should go in. All right. Um, we're going to take one more and then we're going to keep it moving to the next slide. So let's see. Yes, this question exactly. Okay, so this is from Sundance. And the question is, or the statement is, I'm trying to marry my radio career, DJ career, and blog at the same time while I'm in my seat. I need to learn more on blogging. Okay, it's more of a statement than a question. Yeah, it Girl, is. Girl, at first I thought she meant she was trying to marry three people. Okay, <laughs> but she means that she wants to put all three of them together. And I commend you for that because one should connect to the other, should connect to the other, should connect to the other. Um, and how to – so I think um, Ebony asked – She so tonight is, is an overview, right? So we're going to have each week, and we're going to go into that in just a little bit. We have specialists or that are professionals – uh, that have um, excelled to the level of, of celebrity um, and that success, right? So we have people that are going to come in and teach each different modules. Uh, but we're going to get to that in just a minute. And I have a whole bunch of questions from someone, Ebony. Um, um, but for right we now, go, yeah, move yeah, let's move to the bit. next slide. Yeah, yeah. so we can get through yeah. all them pretty pictures of me you put together. Okay, so how to be <laughs> successful. I'll make this very brief. If And these are just my five secrets that I've learned through my experience. Um, and I, I think experience is a big thing. Big thing. You can have twins that were born the same day, look exactly the same, but their experiences at the end of, of life will always be different. So mine first is to always be ready. Um, the old people say, hey, stay ready. You ain't never have to get ready. But that is, they say, success a lot of times is when preparation meets opportunity. So you want to always be ready. Also, be prepared for the no's. When people tell you no, and it sounds so crazy, it brings you closer to a yes. So don't be, don't expect, Oprah doesn't sit and tell the story of everything she auditioned for. Um, I think it, was it Michael Jordan maybe that was on the junior varsity basketball team at first when he tried? Oh, yeah, they told him he was never good enough. Uh, so be prepared for the no's. What if Jennifer, um, uh, Sang in the movie. Jennifer Hudson. Jennifer Hudson. Yes, she's so pretty with them knock knees. What if she had not? What if she had not been prepared for the no? And the people at the company said, "No, you can't do our our uh, diet stuff." But no, I'm not being funny. But I'm being serious. Sometimes you have to laugh to keep from crying. So um, there's been times in my career that I have been told before. Can you believe this? You work out. You do what you got to do. But I've been told I wasn't fat enough. If you think about sometimes some of the women, the black women in the industry right now that may be fuller figured and you like go figure. So you have to be prepared for the industry because it changes. Also, in that same token, I'm not going to dwell on it just to persevere. Just keep on going. I even feel like that in love. Wake up. Try love one more time. If your heart get broken, keep it moving. This fourth one I love, and I have had to do this, and I, if if I will receive y'all's comments, I've never received them any time else. Number four is for a chick. Number five is for a dude. Number four, 
in any situation, whether you're hurt, whether it's your decision, whether it's someone else's decision, always walk away cute. Always walk away with your head up high. Always walk away with the point. Even if you don't know what your next plan is, they don't know that. So always walk away knowing that your esteem is high enough to move to, to, the, uh, to the next thing. And you never, ever, ever let them see you sweat. Same thing with the dudes. Keep it in the middle. We don't want no, oh, you know, you huffing and puffing. You, you know, no, keep it together. Because a lot of times in this business, the reason why you got to walk away cute, keep it in the middle and not make enemies is because the same people, believe it or not, that you pass going up, you see coming down. So you don't want to step on them. And at the end of the day, I tell you, my personal biggest fear is not making it to heaven. So why even have that on your record? So always just be ready. Do your best. Persevere. If it doesn't, not not when, not when, because it's going to happen, and not if, let's say when. When it happens and you're hurt about something, you got to be able to walk away from it, dust yourself off, keep it moving. All right, so I'll tell you what, let's take, I have some questions coming in here. Um, actually, comments on Instagram. So guys, ask your questions um, on the chat window. So here's one. I'm moving to Atlanta next month, and I've already gained a position as an intern for Enchanted Marketing. I'm pursuing a career in marketing and PR, being that I am going to be new in the Charlotte area. What is your advice for me on branding herself in Atlanta in marketing and PR? I don't even want to call out names, but isn't hey, Tom, isn't Enchanted PR um, the Crystal? Crystal, Crystal, yeah, yeah, yeah that Crystal. works with Chili. Yeah, no, Crystal. Yeah. Oh, yeah. congratulations, Crystal. Uh, Crystal's awesome. Enchanted PR is great. Uh, let's see. Your Crystal question Jordan, is, right? yeah, yeah, Crystal Jordan. Yeah. Um, you're going to be in Charlotte area. What is your advice on branding yourself in the Atlanta marketing and PR area? Find out as many people, meet as many, many people as you can, even if they shady, meet them and know that they shady. So if it comes around and you need to know it, you know the shade is real. Any event that you can do, if you're if you're trying to be in PR and in this industry and you're working from eight to five going home, you're not doing yourself any any justice. You need to be going to industry events. You need to be networking, marketing with people. People will talk with you and give you much more information in a private setting than they would behind, you know what I'm saying, during those hours. So learn as much as you can to just be a sponge for knowledge and put people in their place. And when I say that, not cuss them out, but just know where they are on your hierarchy and scale of where they fit into your plan and being and working in this industry. All right. And we're going to take a live question now. This is for uh, Bernadine, Bernadine, all right, Bernadine uh, Okoroji, it looks like your last name is. Hey, Bernadine, I, we can hear you. Can you hear us? Hi. Hi. Can you hear me? Yeah. Hi. Um, that last question was actually mine, um, and I just wanted to say thank you so much. Um, that was really great advice. Um, I'm really big on mentorship, mentoring, and um. I'm really excited. Um, I definitely plan on going to events. Um, I've already set that internship up, internship up. So you know, I'm really excited, and I'm working. Um, I'm working at McDonald's. I'm working a full-time job. So I'm really grinding. I'm really trying to get out here and do it. Um, I'm a part of. I'm your soror. I'm a devastating oh. diva, Delta Sigma Theta. Mm -hmm. So um, I'm definitely planning on joining the chapter and meeting people through there as well. So. Um, yeah, I just wanted I just wanted to say thank you for that advice. Well. And you know why I'm you know Bernie, you know why I'm happy about you and your comment. I don't care what anybody says. And first of all, I love McDonald's. Their fries are, have always been wonderful. But in real life, they right now they say the way we need to be working is having seven streams of income. So the fact that you're getting your multiple multiple hustle on, I don't care where it is or what you're doing, you are doing it. And I got my fist in the air saying, bring back the fried apple pie. Love you, girl. <laughs> thank you so much. <laughs> All right. Um, all right. So now we're going to go ahead and move on to the next slide. Um, OK. I hope I'm not long winded. No, am you're I, fine. Am I doing we're, good? Yeah, OK, we're good. Good. okay. We're good. All right. So how to succeed. Just some basic career tips. Always know your value. Be prepared. But, but always know your value. OK, let me say this. But at the same time, be prepared to work for free. Even if you say, hey, I know I have to do this intern for the next four months for free. But after that, Come on, come on. You get, you get a feel for the situation. You'll see how other people move around you. But having that humility in the uh, in the beginning, you even hear it when you talk about people like Diddy or, or whomever that started at the bottom and, and look at where they are now. They're calling the shots. Let me tell you, me, my manager, Todd, and my father, we laugh about because you hear people talk about all the time about they said, they said. And you wonder, like, who is they? You know what I mean? Hey, Ebony, why didn't you get a job? Oh, they said I wasn't chubby enough. They said, put yourself in a position where you end up being they. 
So anytime anybody is saying something and how it's moving, it's not what they is doing to you. You're the person that something happened and you're that day. All right. So know your value when you do that. First of all, we're not a lot of people think of moving up the ladder. Don't just think about moving up. Think about moving out, because if you go only up, you're only it seems so. First of all, it's transparent. People see you only want to be at the top and then you don't socialize. Moving out to the side is moving laterally. Those are some of the people that you may be at the same level with now, but you can learn and grow from them. Maybe they've been up before and now they're down again. You never know. So don't be so focused on the moving up that you forget the people that are there beside you. I pray every night for people that are beside me, above me, below me, because that's who makes you round. So always remember those people and ask yourself, are you prepared? There are some people that that let me tell you, my girlfriend was dating this dude. He was 42 years old talking about he going to go to the Olympics. I ain't never been to the Olympics before. I ain't never trained for it, but they just told him he could run fast. You're not ready for it. There's a reason that Serena Williams, did you see that picture she just did? Oh my God, yeah, recently. It's, it's like picture. she is. She has been prepared. There's nobody on the face of this earth that has excelled in any sport, in any mindset, or any political arena that was not prepared, and there was something there ahead of them or before them. So be prepared and in investing in yourself. All right, so I have... A question on email, Instagram. Okay. To, All right. I'll try to know, answer quickly. One. Whatever you, okay, whatever so you want me to do. One. All um, right. And this is from Latour, Latorious Brown. Uh, her her question is, or she opens up with a statement. Uh, I've been doing a show with a few friends once a week on an app called the After Party Radio, and we're doing really well. And we had lots of listeners, and we're paying to be on the show. We decided to buy our own equipment and start a podcast, and we lost all of our listeners. What should we do? Um, once again, I will always, uh, if everybody didn't hear it, as a young lady, they had a podcast, looks like it didn't go the way they wanted to. Mm -hmm. They lost their listeners and in turn lost their money. Hey, a lot of times you've heard that people have started over and over and over again. Then there are also sometimes there are people that, you know what, they may be singing on American Idol and trying out every year, but they might just supposed to be in the background. Not meaning that there's any, everybody should know your place and put your efforts towards that. Everybody has a talent. Everyone have a, has a purpose. And if you get knocked down, it's not, you know, how many times you get knocked down. It's how many times you get back up. So get back up, dust yourself off, even if you have to repurpose and refocus, do the thing. All right. Uh, <laughs> let's see. This is from Andrea. Uh, I want to be a blogger, but I also want to be a, a PR. The downfall is that I'm shy. What advice do you have for me? Oh, that's so, that's so sweet that she would say that she's shy. Sometimes the shyest people, um, that can be a tough one. But I do know that there are people that are bloggers and PR. There's some bloggers you don't even know who they are. You don't see their face. They write behind the scenes. There's people that are PR people that know how to hire. Their, I own me and my sister. And this is not to toot my own horn, but beep, beep. We own two dance. <laughs> Two dance studios in Birmingham, and uh, we've been, been around 16 years. It was after year three. I looked around, and all my dance teachers were better than me. I, and I said, why don't I focus on getting good dance teachers, marketing the school, and making it better, knowing what my strength is and, and pulling on other people to put them in a position to win. So if you feel like your position to win is not being out front, find someone to partner with, but you can still do it and find out to pull out the strength in you. But you can do it, girl. All right. Um, thank you for that, Andrea. And this is Star Brooks. I think Star sent a list of questions in today. So, Star, if you're ready, I'm going to unmute your microphone and you can ask your questions live. Star, are you there? Oh, I could hear you in a minute, but it looks like you muted your microphone. There you go. Star, are you there? No, there you go. Hey, guys. Hey. Hey. Hello? Sound like you have security. Allow me to bring some positive energy your way. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's go, Star. Hi, Ebony. Hey. Okay, my name is Star Brooks. I'm actually from Baltimore, Maryland. I'm 30 years old, actually, and I work on a TV show called Keeping It Real TV. Um, it's a TV show uh, shown in, what, 1.9 million households in Congratulations. Baltimore? Congratulations, yeah. Thank you. So I actually, I've been listening to, listening to you uh, to your questions tonight, and it's definitely great feedback. Some of my questions was more so um, like things that I may struggle with or my weakness. Um, when I'm doing what I'm doing, I just want to kind of get some tips from you. Gotcha. Give me one good question, Star, and then I'll be glad to answer any of those other ones offline or later. Okay, Pumpkin? Wonderful. Okay. Um, okay. So what keeps you motivated? Like, what is that one thing that gives you that everyday drive to bounce back? I, I will tell you, it is really and truly me. I have a very close-knit family, and my, my circle of friends is very tight. 
and very, very, uh, it's just very close to me. They say, if you want to know who you are, look at the average of the five people around you and you'll have a good mm-hmm. idea of what that is. So if you're constantly wow. around negative people, come on, what's the average of that? It's not easy, It's not hard math. So I think right. the biggest thing is the fact, even when I went through breast cancer, there was a time when I was, woe is me, but it was one day I was in the hospital and I looked up and my mom and dad, I, they thought I was asleep, but I heard them mumbling and I was taught and heard them talking and it was me overhearing them say that they still needed me in their life. And that was my motivation mm-hmm. to keep going. So, so having that circle of friends and that, that uh, whether it's your family, your extended family, that is so important because it permeates throughout your everyday life, your thoughts, your feelings, your spirituality. That's what's going to keep you going. Wonderful. Well said. Thank you. Very, very powerful. Thank I, you. I, look forward- well, I just like, I'm sorry. I just like to share that I've lost over a hundred pounds. So what I do, I actually just wrote a children's book as well on top of what I do. And I've just been um, just trying to touch people and motivate them and inspire them and letting everyone know that we're perfect for our purpose and just to have faith. So I'm like that life. I'm like that that vessel. And I really, really appreciate your time and answering my questions. Anytime, (laughs) Star. Congratulations, girl. That takes so much mental willpower to to lose that weight. And I bet you feel healthier. So God bless you. The mind, body, spirit, all of that works together. So, So kudos to you for taking care of that body. Thank you so much. Thank you guys for having me. Anytime. You're welcome. All right. So we're going to move, keep it moving right along. And let me get this out of your way. Okay. All right. So, all right, guys. So we are um, at the part where we want your feedback. Um, This is all about you, right? So um, for the people that are still online in the chat window, uh, the first question for you guys is, has this been helpful for you? Um, Is this something... Um, and, and I see your question, Natalie. We have some some more, definitely some more Q and A coming up. But first, just let us know: has this been helpful, and and how has this been helpful? We just want your feedback. Um, and I'm going to take a few live questions here as well. And please tell AJ how sexy his voice is because he likes those comments too. I appreciate it. Appreciate it. I'm just saying. I didn't say it. I said other people might. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Um, all right, so go ahead and raise your hands now. Let me put your hand down, Star. Ain't nobody and, gonna ask no more of your questions right, now. So for anybody who, <laughs> for <laughs> anyone who hasn't a- asked the question live, we're gonna take a few questions live. Uh, so go ahead and raise your hand. We have Angelica, so we're gonna ask answer questions for about five or six you know minutes here. Yeah. Scroll. Okay. Yeah. Well, when they ask a question, it automatically moves oh, to the top. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Let him do that part. <laughs> Yeah. So. All right. And, and yeah. It, it just, yeah. So, yeah, if you raise your hand. All right. So we're going to go with you, uh, Joanna. And again, when I unmute your microphone, make sure you unmute your microphone on your side. Thank you. Um, Shauna says this is wonderful. Uh, Kiana. Oh, my. There's so many Ashley questions. Ryan's. Oh, right. Yeah. So, so go ahead and go ahead and ask your question. So far, we only have two. Now you have two options. You can type it or you can raise your hand. I see more people raising their hands now. So I'm going to go ahead and go with Joanna. All right. Okay. So Joanna, your question you are now live. Hello. With you. Hey Joanna, can you hear us? Oh yeah, I can hear you. Can you hear me? Yes, we can. Where are you calling in from? I'm coming from Dallas, Texas. Dallas, I go by Miss Mo Better. I'm a comedian out here. And Miss Ebony has been an inspiration. I don't know how long, right? I mean, I've I was listening to her forever when she was in Dallas, but I wanted to know, was there anything that you look back on? Do you live life with regrets? Or are you the type of person that, you know, and get up and keep it moving. Um, the, the some of the downfalls that I would consider things that hurt me in life were so freaking devastating, and I still made it past that. But I think if I anticipated having to do them again, I'd be scared. So I'm really just glad that they happened the way that they did, even if they caught me mm-hmm. by surprise. Um, to, to know that I can overcome it, if that makes sense. I think. We always have things like, ah, if I would have had this knowledge, then I may have done this over, uh, you know, again, differently. But I have to be honest and say I wouldn't change. You know, I I'm, I'm still have my mom and my dad right now. I still have my mm-hmm. sister. I still, you know, so any of those things that I may regret in life could change some of the smaller things that I'm already happy about. So I wouldn't change a thing. Oh, I figured that'd be your answer because yeah, that's, that's why I look up to you, essentially, because I mean, I mean, you look at somebody, you could tell, essentially, like, the power that, that they have within themselves. And I, I think you have a very beautiful spirit and I, I encourage you to keep doing your thing as well. And I, I appreciate you taking the time out and speaking to us. Anytime. Yeah. I received that sister. Thank you so much, boo. Hey. In the house, <laughs> Dallas. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, so I'm going to go to Elin. 
uh, Elon Taylor or Ellen Taylor. I'm going to unmute your microphone. Make sure you're unmuted on your side. Uh, Ellen, is it Elon or Ellen? Can you hear us? Yeah, it's Elon. Hey, Elon. Uh, where are you calling in from? Um, I'm calling in from Atlanta, Georgia. Okay. And we're going to do something else, too. When you guys call in, if you have a website, just say your website so that everybody can hear it. Maybe you'll get some new people. Um, but go ahead with your question. Do you have a website? Uh, no, currently no. Okay. I don't That's not a problem. Uh, go ahead with your question. Um, I just want to tell you all thank you so much. This has been very, very helpful for me. Um, just to give you just a very short background, um, graduated uh, in Dallas, Texas from SMU uh, with a journalism degree. Getting out, um, I had a job lined up in broadcasting right after. Um, going into that experience, you know, I, I really wasn't humbled because it came so automatically. And when I got out of it due to family uh, issues, um, and starting in now, it's a kind of a humbling experience because applying for jobs and doing different things, you realize, okay, well, I did have the experience, and sure. now, you know, they're not looking at you now. They're looking at, you know, new fresh people. Even though it's been about three or four years, they're looking at fresh people. And so um, I guess my whole thing is that um, one thing that I learned today was that you know, just to always be humble about it, to, you know, never, you know, you may receive a lot of no's, but, you know, just to stay in the game. And, you know, your story is just an inspiration within itself. I don't, I'm sure you know that, but um, thank you so much for, you know, being so transparent uh, with what, with what, you know, what you've been through. Um, but I just wanted to say that. And then my question was, um, since I'm, don't want to go into broadcast journalism anymore. I want to do start a web well create websites for people who have smaller businesses. I have you know uh, cousins. I have family members who have these businesses, but they can't you know man an actual website and social media. And I'm sure that that will definitely help them if they had that um, website or if they had social media presence. And so um, since I'm kind of starting off new, I guess I would ask you. Um, and since I'm so new, if offering my services for free and then, you know, if seeing that if my services really help their business out and then charging them a um, reasonable percentage after that, would you suggest that? And if you have any other suggestions for that? Elin, I promise you, if we're talking about Steel University tonight and I never want to take anything to try to do a shameless plug, what you're talking about doing is so it almost gave me chills because it's exactly first of all doing this course just to enlighten is, is something I get joy out of and mm -hmm. there's a new business opportunity that I actually started over it came in my mind and that's steelbox.club where it helps uh, basically people that have small businesses whether it's candles whatever art they do and uh, it's in a monthly box and so to answer your question anything online on web blogging that's why we didn't just do TV and radio on this all of this is important it ties together think about it I mean I, I can't think of anybody who if you're savvy enough to be on this call right now you've at, lo at least ordered two things off the internet <laughs> this year so that's why I've started steelbox.club I'd love for you to check it out of course we limited on this call and and a part of it is to help young entrepreneurs to get their website started, to learn how to market their products on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, the whole nine. So make sure you stay on and stay on contact with us because we'll have more workshops on that as well. OK, sis? OK, absolutely. Thank you. Anytime. All right. You want to take another question live? Let's or you want to I go? want to wrap up so that if people wrap up? Yeah, if they need to, you know, pick up their kids from, you know. Yeah, I know, right? They well, don't feel cheap. All right. Yeah. All right. So, uh, ladies and gentlemen, well, first of all, we want to thank everybody. We're, we're coming close to an end, but we want you guys to stick around because we have something really special. And and Ebony has been working on this tirelessly for now, probably since about May. Yeah. May or June. Um, so what she's put together is still university. Right. So you're going to be. Um, should you choose to move forward, you're going to be the inaugural class of Steel University. So let me talk about what Ebony has put together. All right. So if you're interested in being a blogger, um, if you're interested in being in radio or TV, um, this is for you. She has some celebrity bloggers um, who are, again, successful. I'm going to introduce them in a minute. Um, radio, she has a syndicated radio person. And then she has a person who's done 14 years of radio here in Atlanta. Um, and she also has great TV personalities coming on. And also, she has a bonus module, and it's just an opportunity for you guys to get to know Ebony on a deeper level. Um, and she has a few surprise guests on there. All right. So 
Um, again, I just said it's just up close and personal training. So for blogging, uh, she has Rodney Ho, uh, and Rodney has been blogging here at the Atlanta Journal-Constitution, which is one of the top um, newspapers in the country. Um, you know, he's been blogging there for, I think he said 14 years. Yeah, he, so he knows. He announced that I got fired. He's been around a long time. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I didn't know that. So, uh, yeah, so he has Rodney. And then talking with Tammy. Talking with Tammy is, is one of the self-made bloggers. Um, she's here in Atlanta, uh, but she's been on red car carpets all over the world. And literally in my conversation with her, she said she started out, she didn't even know what she was doing. So she had to learn how to build her site from um, her site from scratch. She had to learn how to do the, the hosting. She had to learn how to do everything. And then she had to learn how to get product endorsements, right? So now she has... Um, Companies paying her to wear their clothes, to wear their perfume, to come to their events. She makes a living doing blogging and she makes a very nice living as well. So they're going to be on for week one and blogging. So if you're interested in blogging, this is definitely where you need to be for week one. All right. Week two, uh, we talked about radio and radio. Again, for those of you who are in blogging and you want to transition to radio, um, for those of you who are in, in radio and you want to learn how to take your radio career to the next level. Um, if you want to learn, you know, the secrets of being syndicated, uh, Ebony, again, you all know that she's been syndicated. Egypt Sharad, she's been syndicated. And HGTV. Rashawn, she's what now? HGTV. And, and also she's on HGTV. She has a new show coming out this fall called Property Virgins, no, called Flipping Virgins. She was already on a show called Property Virgins, and she's a, um, a real estate, a nationally known real estate agent. So... So she's going to be on. She's going to be talking about um, radio, though. She's going to be talking about syndication. She's going to be talking about the transition from radio to TV. And one of the things that I didn't know when I talked to her is that her show, it wasn't like the show existed before she started it. It was her idea. So, so she which had one? The property version. That's thing. wonderful. So the flipping versions the is flipping, a new one. No, I'm sorry. The, the property version, the flipping versions is new. So flipping version hers. is the one about taking the girls from the strip club and then making them turn, come back to the Lord. No, I'm I, sorry. I didn't, I didn't go. I'm through. just kidding. Oh, no. I, <laughs> I turned to this something. I'm sorry, y'all. <laughs> <So, laughs> I'm getting sleepy. <laughs> okay, so we got Egypt. We got Rashawn that. Ali. Oh, those my, those my chicks. <laughs> <clears throat> All right, so, um, so for TV, um, she has Sherry Shepard, and Sherry is really excited about coming on. Uh, so much so that when we asked her for just a little feedback, she gave us. She was so excited. She gave us a couple paragraphs like, I don't even know. I can talk about anything, whatever she wants me to talk about, whatever questions you have. And that's not only about TV, but that's TV. It's about radio. It's about she did stand up comedy, too, I believe. Yes. And being I mean, a reason I look up for her to her, you know, the situation I've been in life has been wonderful. But the fact that she was not renewed from the view and mm -hmm. you just have perseverance and she tells the story of waiting and praying. And she's back on that. And she's same, back on same, the show. show. Right. Yeah. So and I think she started on there 15 years ago go, go figure. when it first started. So. So, again, that that talks to perseverance like Ebony talked about tonight. So, again, we have blogging. We have uh, radio. We have TV. And what else do we have for you guys? All right. So week four and you're going to announce it now. So she it. has. <laughs> she has uh, Trish, sir, um, who's she's done a ton of TV work. Yep. She's been a clean house. She's been on with Nisi Nas before. Um, she's just a great friend. We also worked on Dish Nation uh, uh, HQ before. And people have wondered, what are we doing? We're doing so much more to and wondering. Can we tell the special guest? Is yes, gonna be? I, I typed it up. Here. <laughs> All right. Cla so the special guest is going to be drum roll, please. Yeah. Claudia Jordan. Like we've been through and it's not so much people. It's not to gang up on anybody or any situation. But sometimes you find solace and sometimes comfort in people that have been through like situations. So we're looking forward to that. And of course, that will be the last week for you all that enroll for the last week. Once again, my purpose is to uplift and teach. So if you go and say that any Ebony Steele said anything beyond that, you are lie. I'm telling you right now. <laughs> but I am glad to know that she has agreed to be a part of this because despite what happened, sisters, brothers, all of us together with the same dream, we can help each other more than we can harm each other. So I want y'all to be a part. <laughs> all right. So so here's what we did. All right. So we asked all the guests, like, you know, how much they would charge for their individual parts of the show. And they all gave us a number. And we said, well, we want to make this thing affordable. So that the average person, the average person can afford this course. Right. So the normal price for it is five ninety six. But again, this is Ebony's inaugural course. So she wanted to know everybody on the call. You can get it for forty nine dollars if you want to buy a single module. So in other words, if you want to learn about blogging alone, 
or if you want to learn about radio alone, or if you want to, want to learn about TV alone, you can pay for that module and it's $49. However, comma, if you want to get all of the modules all together, that's blogging, that's TV, that's radio, and that's up close and personal, and that's with Ebony and Claudia, and that's going to be a live Q&A session. Right. So they're going to be talking, and it's going to be a Q&A session. You can buy all four for $99. Um, we have that until midnight. So right now, if you go to buy.stilluniversity.com, all of them are on there. All your options are there, and I'm going to switch my screen over to it real quick so you guys can see. Uh, let's see. What so we when got you here. switch that, they can see it switching around. Yeah, they should be able. To. That is so can you guys fun. see my? Can you guys still see my screen? If you can if you can see my screen, uh, go ahead and type yes. Let's see here. If you can see my screen, type yes. Okay, people are saying yes. Yes. Okay. So I'm gonna go over to buy. Stilluniversity.com. And it will come up with all the different options. And again, this is this is. $49 if you want to buy one, or you can get all four for $99, all right? So I tell you what, while that loads, I'm going to go ahead and start taking some more questions. And I'm going to take these. Let's see if we can take some live ones. Can we take, like, two questions, and if people want to ask more, I can answer them back online? I just yeah. Want, okay, cool. All right, so did we do Joanna? Uh, we did Elon already. So if you already asked a question, we're going to try to get it to I someone that else. Name. That name is interesting. Abbas Ab what is I that? Abbas so their, their hand, let's see. No, their hand isn't up. Oh, okay. I, I, I boss. I boss today. Put your hand up. I boss today. I don't know what that is. I boss today. Okay. Okay, the hands up right. now. Is it? Uh, yeah. Okay. Up. So a boss today. Um, Ebony saw your name and she wanted <laughs> to talk to you. <laughs> All right. So and again, the class is going to be just a lot more interactive. So don't don't think the fact that we're kind of trying to get through it tonight. Don't take that as that's how it's going to be because this is going to be very interactive. But we want to be interactive with those that are willing to invest in themselves and invest in the opportunity to learn. So I'm going to go ahead and abosa day. You're, you're, first of all, is that how you say it, abosa day? Um, yes, you're very close, abosa day. Abosa day. Well, hey, abosa day. Um, first of hey. all, do you, do you have a website? I do not. Um, I'm actually, um, I, I follow like different bloggers and everything, and I figured that it was something that I could do. Um, I work in human resources, actually, mm -hmm. um, but my degrees are in mass communications and film and television, so it's like a whole lot of that going on there. Um, I didn't really have a question. I just heard you when you said, if you all can see my screen, type yes, so I just clicked <laughs> and typed yes. Bob, <laughs> hey, hang on, hold on, Man. girl. We better get a question. I'll okay. Like hold on, boo. -boo. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. Thank you, Abosa yeah, Day. Yeah, but thank you for answering. All right. So us. we're going to go with Angelica Skurlock. Yeah, let's get one more. And Angelica Skurlock. Let's see. Can you can you ask my question? That's from Sean Smash Jet. Okay. So let's see. We have. Um, Who else is handed? Nancy Ellis or Jasmine? Angelica. Let's. Okay. Who do you want to go with? Let's go down. It's easier for you, guys. Whatever is easier. All right. So we're going to. Uh, Angelica Skurlock. Angelica Skurlock. She says she is here. Hold on one second. So I've unmuted the microphone on your side. Um, unmuted on your side. There's a mute. There's a line through it. And if if you don't see the line, come on, Angelica. I know, right? Um, Angelica, go ahead and unmute your microphone. No, we can't hear you. I tell you what. Go ahead and ask your question. Let's see who's here. Nancy Ellis. Uh, Kasman. Kasmin, Kasmin Roach. All right, Kasmin, we're going to unmute your microphone. Kasmin, can you hear us? Yes, can you hear me? Hey, Kasmin, how are you? I'm good. Um, so my question is, um, I'm a blogger and I'm also a playwright. Um, oh, nice. So I need to gain like more followers. Do you have any strategies or tips to help me market my brand in a better way? I, I promise you, I can't see that the blogging course would not include that on them because that's a part of how they get the people get get them to. Because uh, I see, so, let me tell you one thing that makes me a little leery. I'm sure you've seen like on Twitter, Instagram, you know, hey, you want to get more followers, you do this. But I don't know if those are genuine followers. So why don't we, when we do this course, girl, you make sure that you're on for that first week with the blogging, and let's ask them directly because I've been wanting to know that myself too. That's a great question. Awesome. Thank you. You're welcome. You're welcome. 
All right. So you want to take another question or two, or you want to? Uh, I'm good. You want to move? Keep yeah, it moving. Yeah, just keep it moving, and let's because I want. Yeah, it's I want us to stay on schedule. So. Okay. All right. All right. So again, uh, ladies and gentlemen, we have um, all four modules are ninety nine dollars. If you want to go ahead and get it now, um, that is awesome. And if you've already purchased the class, go ahead and type yes in the chat window. I want to see. Um, how many people tonight have already purchased? Because after tonight, this goes up to 150, does it not? Yep, after not tonight, it goes up to 150. So go ahead, again, it goes up to 150 tonight at midnight. So uh, you have, what is that, about two and a half hours to get the course. Again, if you just want to buy one, it's 49. So I think the Yasmin that just got off, she just wanted blogging, mm -hmm. right? So Yasmin, you can just go I ahead and I encourage do... getting a hold. But, you know, me and you argue about that. But right. I, I, yeah, I yeah, think absolutely. they're all tied absolutely. together. Absolutely. They're, right. So they all definitely overlap. So you can get all four for $99 so you can learn uh, as much as you can to take your career to the next level. So let's see what else we have here. All right. And, again, this is just a picture of, and, again, the surprise guest is Claudia Jordan. So that's going to be an awesome, awesome episode. Uh, this is just a picture of everybody in the class. Again, go over to stilluniversity.com. And for Claudia Jordan, that last one, that last module will be for those people that do the four weeks. That's how you're able to get that as you take the four-week course. Okay. All right. Okay. Well, um, and, and there you have it. So, again, now uh, let's see. The time is 929, so we have time for one more question because we're going to call it, call it a night at 930. Okay. So go ahead and type your questions in the chat window. Let's see. Oh, um, let's do a yeah, time question. Let's see. Not sure. Let's see. Will this be available for replay? We have a show in Atlanta called The J Show, thejshow.com. Guys, go check out the J and Shay Show.com. I want Jay to hear this. It was great info. Thank you and thank you. Um, I'll tell you what, we'll, we'll go ahead and put a replay up so they can hear it. They can hear it another day. Okay. All right. So, so, yes, if you guys know someone who wasn't available for this, for this call, uh, we will put a replay show up. Um, I'm not sure if it's going to be 99 or 149. Yeah, but yeah. the price still won't be the same. But just to get the information, like yeah, yeah. we'll still do the same thing. And make sure you still go to uh, steelbox.club to look at that too. But uh, I'm so happy, y'all. Just don't know. I am so humbled by the fact that you guys just gave me an hour of your time tonight. So God bless you and thank you for that. All right. So um, that said. Um, I don't want to be the last voice that you hear. So first of all, again, thank you so much for joining. Um, I'm going to pass it over to Ebony for closing words. Wow. All right. Well, I, I always keep it simple and short. And anything that you're doing right now, if you're going to worry, don't pray. If you're going to pray, don't worry. I promise you, you go to sleep tonight and wake up in the morning. It's going to feel much better, be much better. Life still goes on. Still want to encourage you guys to follow me on Twitter. Of course, Ebony, E-B-O-N-Y-S-T-E-E-L-E. -E -E. And if you're on tonight, just say that you had a good time tonight so that we can tweet and retweet and get the word out. And I know everybody's financial situation is different. So that's why I wanted to do this like this tonight but i hope that you can sign up but if not we'll continue to give you knowledge i don't care what the cost is exactly so i do have another question that's very important so um someone asks will will this course be recorded yes it will be recorded um there are four modules um let's see i'm having a trouble buying a link to all four modules is there an issue the individual links seem to work um i'll tell you what send an email to me and i'll give you um that email address is get get at anthonyjoiner.com, A-N-T-H-O-N-Y-J-O-I-N-E-R.com. If you have any technical issues, and I'm going to type that in the chat window. Let me just type it in G-E-T at Anthony, and I will send you a, a link to it directly. Um, yes, this, this course will be recorded. Uh, the link is not working. Okay. Yep. All right. So I will send you the link. It's get at anthonyjoiner.com. I'll send that to you. It is recorded. Yes, you will have access to the recordings. Uh, yes, during the class, you will have access to the slides. Um, we will have question and answer sessions, and we will have worksheets that you guys can download so that you can follow along in the classes because we want you to get the most out of this. All right. So again, if you're having a if you're having an issue, just send the email to get g e t at anthonyjoiner.com, and um, we will make sure we get that squared away. All right. So any more questions on on the course? Let's see. AJ, stop trying to talk so people still hear your, your voice. Everybody no, because they're asking oh, questions. Oh, they're still asking questions. Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah. I just want to make sure everybody's happy. Uh, the modules begin. When do they begin? Let me look at the calendar real quick because I'm not. They begin uh, two weeks from tonight. So what is that? August 27th. August 27th is going to be every Thursday night for four weeks. 
Uh, it's going to be, a, you're quite welcome, uh, Dominique. It's going to be an hour to an hour and a half every night for four weeks. Um, and again, it will be a Q&A type uh, situation so you can get all your questions answered. All right. All right, ladies and gentlemen, again, thank you so much. Any other questions that you have, be sure and send them to me. We want to make sure no questions go left unanswered. Send them to get at anthonyjoiner.com. Uh, and ladies and gentlemen, with that, we will see you on uh, next Thursday. Next Thursday. Next Thursday, all right? And Goodbye. we're gonna have we're gonna have new information next Thursday too.